Hi there, it's Jules from the lab and today we're going to be discussing our one day hormone salivary collection kit. So to start, let's go over what's inside of it. Our first paper that we have here is our requisition form and we'll be going over this later. Our second piece of information are the instructions that come with the kit and we will be touching on these but we will need you to read over them in full before beginning the test kit. Next, we do have these seven stickies that will be going on each of the seven vials that you'll be collecting. And then we also have the seven vials that you'll be spitting in, as well as a biohazard baggie that you can put everything in. So when beginning this collection, you'll refer back to that instruction sheet and you will be your far right column of the seven vials. You'll start when you wake up with the waking collection time immediately upon getting up. Then we'll move to 30 minutes later, as well as going throughout the rest of the day. As you can see, the final collection is at 2.30 in the morning, which although less than 24 hours from when beginning, it is technically the next day. If we refer back to that requisition form, at the top of one side, a highlighted portion is date final sample collected. So you will be putting the date of that 2.30 a.m. collection on the requisition form. Going back to the instruction sheet, when you collect that 2.30 a.m. sample, we request that you put the vial next to your bedside stand so that when your alarm goes off, you can immediately roll over, begin to spit while leaving your light off. Please make note that the two vials that you collect first are the blue top ones, and on here, you'll only need to collect one milliliter of spit. The next five will be the clear top ones where you will need three milliliters of spit. As you collect your vials, you can put them in your biohazard bag and put this in your freezer. Although the samples don't need to be frozen, usually saliva will actually end up smelling worse than your stool, so it's a good thing to put them in the freezer. Trust me. All right, as you collect these, we will need you to put those stickies that I showed you in the beginning on the vials. We'll need you to have your name, date of birth, as well as the start and stop time of collection. We need each sample collected within a five minute period. So if you wake up, start spitting at 6.05, we need you to be done collecting by 6.10. Now, again, referring back to this, a lot of patients have questions about, well, what if I have a very dry mouth? If you look at the section that's one hour before collection, it will say that basically the only thing allowed is water, which yes, that is true. But we also tell patients that chewing white sugarless gum is also allowed within that hour before collection. This will help activate those salivary glands while also not negatively affecting the test results. After you have everything collected and all of your vials are in your baggie, this can all go into your box, which will then go into, once again, a prepaid, pre-labeled FedEx sleeve. You'll have already filled out the date of the final sample collection, and that's the only thing that you need to do on this side of the requisition form. On this side of the requisition form, we will need you to fill out the patient information as well as a signature and date at the bottom. If you are choosing to bill through insurance or Medicare, then we'll need you to fill out the insurance section. This will vary per person. Lastly, depending on if you're already on hormones, you'll wanna to talk to your provider because it will vary per person if they want you to continue on the hormones during the test or if they want you to stop them a few days or maybe even weeks before the test. When you're choosing to ship this off, you can either call FedEx and have them pick it up from outside of your house or find a drop center near your home to drop it off there um, if they accept biohazards.